All right, in this video, I'm going to go through the steps of adding a new site to the site manager for FileZilla so you can connect to your server and upload WordPress. All right, first thing you want to do, click on the site manager icon right here. Click on new site. Give it a name. So whatever the name of the site is, we'll just call it uh, example. All right, and what you're going to need um, at a minimum is the host. And in general, this isn't always the case, but in general, um, whatever the domain name is of the website that you're connecting to, um, the FTP server might be FTP dot, and then whatever that domain name is, dot com, or dot CA, whatever the case may be. Now, in, in general, you won't need a port, unless of course you're doing um, something with secure FTP, then you may, may require a port number as well. All right, so we're gonna keep it at standard FTP for this example and we'll use plain FTP in this example, but you may require FTP um, explicitly over TLS or implicitly to be, if you're doing something with secure. Um, so this is for encryption, but we're just gonna use plain FTP for this example. And for the login type, um, we're gonna use normal. And this will store the, allow the storage of the password um, right within FTP, but you can have it just ask for the password every single time so you only put in the username. That's another way to do it. All right, so we're just gonna go with normal. We'll put in the username and password, and then you click connect, and that's really all there is to it. All right, so as an example, I'll connect to my server here. All right, so what you can see here is on the left side, this is um, these are files on my computer here, and on the right side, these are files on the server. So I can actually upload. Um, I'm at the root of my server, but in general, if you're just doing one specific website, you'll be at the root of that particular website. So if you're uploading WordPress, you would just locate the WordPress files on your computer and then upload them from there. So in my case, since I'm using Windows, I like to install things right from the desktop, so I'd go, go right to the desktop folder. And then I can upload my WordPress files right to the server. And the upload process is very simple. You just, you can, um, if you're uploading everything, you can push Control A, right click, and then click Upload. Or if you want to upload just one particular file, you can double click that file, and it will upload to the server. And right here at the bottom, this is all the files, there'll be a log of all the files that are being transferred during the transfer process. And the opposite is true. If you want to download a directory or multiple directories or just, just uh, one file, then what you would do is just right click and click download. And at the same time, when, since you have FTP, um, there are certain permissions that are required to use WordPress. So you can right click a, a directory click on file permissions and then set the permissions appropriately. I won't get into that in this video, but I just wanted to show you the possibility and how you're able to do that. All right, that concludes the uh, tutorial for FileZilla. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.